Hello friends, this is Vinod Prabhu and uh, our channel is Seven Sense Aptitude Prep. I welcome you once again to an entire uh, new topic in aptitude. This topic is very, very important in aptitude uh, written tests, be it for competitive exams or for placements. And uh, this particular topic is known as time, speed and distance. So we'll start off with video one uh, and our first video generally on any topic is on concepts, formulae and some basic problems. So here we look at uh, the concepts on time, speed and distance. Knowing these concepts very well, knowing the formula very well, will help you to solve a lot of problems accurately. Okay, so let's look at some of the concepts. There are three subtopics when we say time, speed and distance. Some of these are uh, the regular problems you will encounter where someone is going in a car, uh, he moves for um, uh, two hours at 20 kilometers per hour and then after two hours the cycle or the bus starts and that goes at a higher speed of 50 kilometers per hour and what time do they meet or what time do they overlap so that's the most basic uh, of the problems and those are what we call as the regular problems okay car bus man walking all of these then there is an entire subset of time speed and distance known as the trains problem and those are problems that have to do with the single train or with two trains a uh, train and a platform a train and a tunnel two trains um, moving away from one another or two trains going in the same direction so trains would be discussed in detail in a separate video and then the third set which is known as boats and streams here there would be boat in in the water in the stream and so there is a speed of a boat the boats could be going in the same direction and opposite direction and the water right they could be going along with the water or opposite to the direction of the flow of the water so downstream is in the same direction as the water flow upstream is opposite to the direction of water flow what happens to the speed etc so trains what we see are trains and boats and streams i'll, I'll explain uh, that in detail in a subsequent video here we look at regular problems of car bus cycle and uh, man. Hmm? then the most basic but the most important formula this is one formula that every one of us knows the distance covered is speed into time okay so more the speed the greater is the distance more the time spent greater is the distance covered okay so always remember d is equal to s into t and consequently to find out speed you can do distance by time and to find out time you do distance by speed important point to note here is that we should have something known as a unit consistency what is unit consistency can you add 10 kilometers with 200 rupees it seems absurd right it seems silly can you add similarly so you can't do this right 10 kilometers with 20 rupees is something that you can't do now can you add 10 kilometers with 50 meters can you do this both of them are in uh, uh, the units of distance right you can add and call it 60 no because this is kilometers this is meters this is pretty straightforward right kilometers and rupees you can't add this is 10 kilometers and 50 meters either convert the kilometers to meters or the meters to kilometers either you can add it as 10 kilometers one kilometer is 1000 meters so 10 kilometers is 10,000 meters then you add 50 then you do 10,050 meters or you add 10 kilometers 50 meters see 500 meters is 0.5 kilometers 50 meters is 0 0.05 kilometers so either you can either call it 10,050 meters or 10.05 kilometers. You can't add 10 and 50. Where do you encounter this? You encounter this in terms of speed. You will have speed in different units. You will have to ensure that there is unit consistency there. So 10 kilometers, 50 meters, convert both of them into kilometers or both of them into meters and then add or do any sort of uh, calculations that you want to do how do you convert seconds to minutes divide by 60 so what is 60 seconds right 60 seconds you divide by 60 you get one it is one minute what is similarly what is 300 seconds what is 300 seconds 
300 I'll divide by 60 I get it as 5 minutes okay so that's straightforward how do you convert minutes to hours okay 60 minutes how do you convert into hour you divide by 60 you get 1 similarly if you have to do 360 minutes divide by 60 you get 6 hours so seconds to minutes you divide by 60 minutes to hours you divide by 60 and the other way around hours to minutes you multiply by 60 one hour if you have to convert it into minutes multiply by 60 five hours if you have to convert it into minutes you multiply by 60 you get 300 minutes and minutes to seconds the same thing you multiply by 60 again three minutes you get three into 60 180 seconds okay, all of these are very basic i know but our first video is generally meant to be a recap and also for uh, some of our uh, fellow student friends who are not very clear about the concepts this helps all of us to be on the same page when we solve the problems find the number of seconds in one hour so it's not minute it's an hour okay so you find out the number of seconds in one minute first number of seconds in one minute is 60 so 60 seconds in one minute one hour is how many minutes 60 minutes so how many seconds to get that you do 60 into 60 you go to 1 into x so x is 3600 so in an hour see 60 seconds are there in a minute how many seconds are there in 60 minutes is what we are seeing so i multiply by 60 60 into 60 3600 seconds are there in one hour now convert 3 hours and 45 minutes into minutes okay you can't add this you can't add 3 hours plus 45 minutes so what do you do you convert this into minutes 3 hours is 60 into 3 180 minutes plus 45 minutes you can add this and make it 225 minutes now convert 3 hours and 45 minutes into hours so this you don't change 45 minutes if you have to convert into to hour what do you do you do this you divide by 60 45 by 60 15 threes are 15 fours are you can either call it then this three hours are there you add three hours with three by four hours okay so you you, you can either call it three three by four hours okay three hours 45 minutes you can either call it three three by four hours or three by four you can call it 0.75 you can also write it as 3.75 hours it is the same so this 3 by 4 you can write it as 3 3 by 4 or this 3 by 4 you can write it as 0.75 so the given question 3 hours and 45 minutes into hours is either 3 3 by 4 hours or 3.75 hours now distance kilometers to meters okay so we saw the units of time and ensuring how they can be consistent now units of distance kilometers to meters if my distance uh, if, if the distance from my home to the school is one kilometer in meters it is one kilometer into thousand thousand meters okay multiply by thousand hmm? 0.5 kilometers is 0.5 into thousand 500 meters if you have to do meters to kilometers you divide by thousand okay seven thousand meters if you have to convert that into kilometer divided by thousand seven kilometers that's pretty straightforward this is a key factor okay kilometers per hour to meters per second you have to remember this the time and distance uh, the conversion even if you forget you use it regularly right so you kind of remember okay seconds to minutes minutes to hours or hours to minutes and minutes to seconds you remember it and even distance you remember it the speed conversion is very very important kilometers per hour to meters per second i'll show you why 5 by 18 comes in let us say it is one kilometer per hour okay what does one kilometer per hour mean you will travel one kilometer in one hour let me if i have to change the unit let us change the numerator to meters so 1000 meters right one kilometer and one hour if i have to convert that into seconds we saw that in the previous question 
one hour has 3600 seconds so one hour has 60 minutes 60 minutes is 60 seconds 60 into 60 3600 seconds okay you do you can simplify this and say 10 by 36 you divide it by 2 5 by 18 so kilometers per hour if you want to convert it into meters per second you multiply it by 5 by 18 So 10 kilometers per hour. If you have to convert that into meters per second, multiply it by 5 by 18. Okay. Remember, kilometers per hour to meters per second, you multiply by 5 by 18. Meters per second to kilometers per hour, you multiply by 18 by 5. How do you get it? You remember this. No one is going to ask you the derivation. But in case you forget, in case you figure out, oh, is it 18 by 5 or 5 by 18, just remember, kilometers per hour to meters per second is 5 by 18. Remember, 18 kilometers per hour is 5 meters per second. Just remember that you will know whether you have to multiply by 5 by 18 or 18 by 5. Kilometers per hour to meters per second, multiply by 5 by 18. I am repeating this multiple times because this is very, very important. Convert 72 kilometers per hour into meters per second. What do you do? Multiply by 5 by 18. 18 ones are 18 fours are you it will also help if you remember mm, the multiples of 18 okay 18 36 54 72 90 108 126 144 162 180 okay eight the table of 18 right so 18 1 18 4 this is 20 meters per second if the speed of the bus is 50 kilometers per hour what is the distance traveled in Two hours. Okay, so these are three different questions. Okay, this is A, this is B, this is C. Distance traveled in two hours. Okay, kilometers is in uh, speed is in kilometers per hour, right? 50 kilometers per hour. Distance is asked in two hours. So in one hour, the bus travels 50 kilometers, right? Speed is 50 kilometers per hour means in one hour, it's traveling 50 kilometers. So in two hours, what does it do? It travels 50 into 200 kilometers. So that is the answer to this question. In two hours, the distance traveled by the bus is 100 kilometers. Now, he is asked, second part, he is asked in 30 minutes. So, what you have to do is you have to convert this into hours. 30 minutes is how many hours you divide by 60 minutes to hours you divide by 60. So, this will be half an hour. Right? In one hour, he will travel 50 kilometers. The bus. In half an hour, 50 by 2. 25 kilometers per 25 kilometers the distance here it is 100 kilometers for two hours now 45 minutes you divide by 60 45 by 60 15 3 is a 15 4 is a you get 3 by 4 so 3 by 4 of an hour so similarly one hour you do 50 kilometers In 3 by 4 of an hour you do 15 to 3 by 4 150 by 4 37.5 kilometers. Sorry, you threw 37.5 kilometers in 45 minutes. So this is the answer for B. This is the answer for C. Okay. Pay attention to these words in the question, right? Increased by and increased to. Let us say Ra uh, Ramesh was going at 20 kilometers per hour. Okay. Now, if I say Ramesh's speed increased by 30 kilometers per, uh, per hour, okay, so his speed is 20 kilometers per hour. If his speed increases by 10 kilometers per hour, uh, sorry, 50, what did I say? 30 kilometers per hour, right? Let us say, count that as 30 kilometers per hour. So his speed initially is 20 kilometers per hour. It increases by 30 kilometers per hour. It means you have to add. 20 plus 30, 50 kilometers per hour. The new speed is 50 kilometers per hour. By means addition. If it increases by 50 kilometers per hour, it is 20 plus 50. If it increases by 40 kilometers per hour, it is 40 plus 20. Okay. Here it is increased by 30 kilometers per hour. You add 30 plus 20. If I say it has increased to 230 kilometers per hour, that is the new speed. Don't add them. Okay. Speed is 20 kilometers per hour. It increases by 30 kilometers per hour. The new speed is 20 plus 30, which is equal to 50. Speed
speed is 20 km per hour, it increases to 30 km per hour, the new speed is 30 km per hour by means addition, okay, in terms of speed. Similarly, reduces to speed is 50, reduces by and to reduces by 10 km per hour, okay. If it reduces by 10 km per hour, you do 50 minus 10, it is 40 now. If it reduces to, you write the same thing here, new speed is 10. Okay, increases by, you add, reduces by, you subtract, increase to, you write that value, reduce to, you write that value. Fine. Now, two bikes moving in the same direction. If you remember some of these concepts in school, if the two vehicles or two people or any two entities, if they travel in the same direction, there is something known as a relative speed. So the relative speed that you have to encounter, that you have to use, is the difference of the two speeds. Okay, I will explain this with examples. You just remember that if they are traveling in the same direction, the speeds, the difference of those speeds have to be taken. But if they are moving in the same direction, the speeds have to be added. Whatever is the speed, right? One could be very fast, one could be very slow. The speeds would still have to be added. Hmm? Key points. Something known as relative speed will encounter these problems in the subsequent slides. So here we have looked at some basic concepts, right? We, some of us, when we encounter basic concepts, become very overconfident and say, oh, these are concepts that we know and how can we go wrong? We've studied this in school. But it doesn't matter. Practice. Lay a very strong foundation for uh, your topics and then your structure would be very strong in any problem that is given you'll be able to solve it do not focus only on the shortcuts see we teach shortcuts as well but we teach the fundamentals with even more detail so that students can tackle any problem so if you like this video please click the thumbs up sign and uh, subscribe to our channel click on the bell icon our channel is seven cents aptitude but you could go to youtube and uh, uh, check our channel, all the other videos that we've uploaded, share it with your friends, let them know, enter a comment so that we know what you feel about the video. And you could visit 7 talent.com look at different tests that we have on offer, um, whether it's company specific tests, whether it is module specific tests, whether it's an entire practice set. Please uh, take up, spend time, practice, take up those tests and uh, ensure that you're scores uh, increase okay, thank you so much for spending your time i, I wish to see you in the subsequent videos on time speed and distance uh, for that refer to our playlist that uh, you can see on our channel thank you once again